Hey guys, what's going on? It is Thursday. Um, it was ECCC day. I'm not sure what everybody picked up. Um, I managed to get the sodas, the, the Masters of the Universe sodas, and Underdog. That was about it. Uh, none of the Targets or anything or Walmarts around here had any of the pops in, which is kind of weird, but whatever. I um, want to start off by saying thank you to those of you who... A, were in the live last night and participated and started being very positive. Um, I think Troy and I were both kind of shocked at how it turned and the conversations that were had and how open people were last night. And that is amazing to see. Uh, I also want to thank the people who have reached out since uh, the live and have actually taking those positive steps now to kind of healing some things. I think it's amazing um, that it's only been 24 hours and there's already some good coming out of it. And do I like being that intense? No. And I don't like to be s the, the person who's swearing and doing all of that. Um, I prefer to be the happy go lucky wrap my hair out and look like Monica Geller uh, kind of a person. So <clears throat> today's back to business. Um, good, positive, uplifting videos. I need to get into this and rearrange it because it's, it's driving me nuts. Um, but we're going to open some things. <clears throat> so I got a couple of wins from Grambino. Where'd the other box go? Oh, right here. Um, Grambino's Pop Shop. I will put a link to his Instagram. He does... Um, some really cool waffles and stuff. I've known Graham for quite a while. He was, he's been a guest on both Owls and he's uh, been on CTV. Uh, he's a very good guy. We have a lot in common. Uh, we're both into like the, the eighties action heroes, Ninja Turtles, um, masters of the, or yeah, masters of the universe and uh, Thundercats and stuff like that. <clears throat> he's also who I've gotten several of my personal grails off of like the sloth uh, in the Superman shirt and bunny suit Ralphie. Um, so I ended up getting those off of Graham's site and he does, he does good ones and he does them fun. Like right now he's doing Plinko, which is cool. Um, it's kind of, it's fun. It's fun to do that. He has a wheel that he does that's black light and everything else. And he's just a super fun, good guy to know. So, um, we're going to start off with the one and, um, I knew in advance the condition of this pop, but I still wanted it because of who it is. <clears throat> so when I won, and I was shocked because it was I like came back. It was like uh, on the wheel or and this you know spinner wheel, and it I came back and after like being completely down. So um, <clears throat> he always sends really cool stickers too. So we'll run through those. So I got an iron head, or iron man with a big head. I got this weird dude. I got a square pig. Uh, his OG sticker. And then because we are like, I love the Ninja Turtles. So this is uh, the Raphael round sticker. And then he's got two die cut. One is Raphael and one is Michelangelo. So I love these. Thank you, Graham. Thank you very much. All right. So what did I get? Um, I picked the OG Rock Steady from Ninja Turtles. Um, this is one of the options. This is from 2014. Uh, he showed me beforehand. I still wanted this pop, but there's a, a little crease right here. I don't really care. Uh, I don't plan on this leaving. This is not a flip. Um, so this is something that I'm staying in. You know, for 2014, he's he is pretty cool, you know, with the muscle tone and everything else. And I guess I always thought the older pops had less detail, but not really. So he's super cool. <clears throat> um, it's very hard to get the OG ones. And so piece by piece is what I'm hoping to do at some point in time to get them. I have the new set, including April. But then, um, so I entered a waffle and I just bought mini spots. I had one mini spot. And I had, I won one I won one mini spot, one in the main. I had a, a single spot. Somebody else had like seven spots. 
And um, I, w I really wasn't expecting win. In fact, I actually posted before he ran it. And I thought it was going to be the Plinko. So I picked the number that I did, which was not normally a number that I would pick. Um, <laughs> because I thought he was playing Plinko and I thought I had better odds at that. Well, he ended up doing a, um, a stack, uh, the last ticket out of a stack. And my number kept not being called, not being called, not being called. And the guy with seven spots got eliminated. And I was like... <sighs> So it came down to the last two tickets and I kind of held my breath because I knew exactly what I was going to pick. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I won. So, um, Graham, he, I, re I now have a graded 2013 grayscale Michelangelo Ninja Turtle. Uh, it is, this thing is super cool. And not, uh, Michelangelo is my favorite Ninja Turtle of them all. But the fact that this is a graded one, um, so now I have my second stack or my second, what do you guys call slab? So this is my first slabbed Funko Pop. I don't even know if I would have any of the other ones slab. Maybe Sloth because I never intend to take him out of the box. Um, but they're in pop armor, so they're okay. Um, so super cool. You can still see through the bottom, which is really cool, and in the top. Um, it got graded in 9.0, and I can kind of see why there are some paint flaws on him. Um, but other than that, the box is in like pristine minty condition. And he also sent me, um, so on the sorter, it has a code and on the back of the certificate of authenticity, it has a code and he sent all of this with it. So that's pretty cool. And this, uh, BBGS actually puts a really cool wax stamp on it, um, on the certificate of, of authenticity. So I am I'm so excited to add him to to my collection again. This is this is going to be a grail. Um, I don't know how much of a value it adds to the pop, but I know this is a $220 pop, and I think I only invested $18 in winning him. Uh, so I got really lucky on him. Very, very lucky. Very, very lucky. Um, so I can't wait to show him off. And that's part of the reason why I need to redo this because my grails, you can't even see them because they're all up at the top and out of the shot. So we're going to redo that. Uh, last but not least is my friend Clara. Clara was doing mystery boxes. This is box number five. Box number five. Um, I don't remember how much these were. I think they were... So 30? 35? Let me look. Let me look real quick. And no, I don't edit, so you're just going to have to wait while I while I look. Um, these were... I don't even know if they're on here anymore. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Um, 25 mystery, 25 boxes, $30 ship, 25 guaranteed, two pops per box. Uh, the big hits were the black and white four with a PPG of 110. And you could also win a pineapple cranky, um, with a value of 100. But, um, that was going to be sent. You were going to receive a, um, uh, uh, a thing. Uh, a, a certificate basically so because it wouldn't fit in these boxes and all the boxes were um, done the same so <clears throat> open this box up and I don't think I got the cranky because this is awfully heavy so I've got some bubble wrap I've got it off to the side so I cannot see what's in here lots of bubble wrap Okay, so first things first, we got a sticker. Oh, we got the doggies. I love the doggies. I literally have fallen in love with her dogs. Um, so I know that they haven't been doing so great lately, uh, a couple of them. And um, part of this box was to help offset the vet bills for one of them recently. So we've got, cool. there's something else in here. What's this? Sour Patch Kid Lollipop, nice. Some candy, some goodies. Some Swedish fish. All right, so we've got one in nothing, 
and one in a sorter. So we'll do the one in nothing first. I don't know which is the top, which is the bottom, so. What we got? Oh, from Tailspin. Sheer Khan. Um, this is from, I think this is the shared sticker. I think the squared are the shared stickers. Um, this is from the 2018 Fall Convention exclusive Sheer Khan. Um, box is in good, really, really good condition for being three years old. That's, that's cool. I don't have any tailspin. This will be probably one I'll, I would give to Nolan. And then we have one in a sorter, so I guess I don't need to be tipping it to the side because I can't see what's in it anyway. And that's it. <clears throat> Thank you for the candy, though. All right. So I don't know which side is up. I will show it to you first. Oh, sweet. So my brothers and I used to, to watch South Park together when we were kids. <laughs> and uh, I actually liked this one. And I was going to pick it up, but I didn't. This is the FYE exclusive Awesomeo. Um, Cartman in the little robot outfit. This thing is heavy. I got kind of excited when I when I felt the, the box was heavy. I was, I, and uh, But now I know why. So you could get Marjorie, Kyle, Awesomeo, Stan, Cartman, and Kenny. Um, so this is the, the group on the back. This one was completely encased in bubble wrap. This one was in a sorter. I'm assuming this is the bigger hit. Um, but uh, very, very cool because I don't have either one of these. I will probably give the Tailspin one to Nolan uh, because he's into that. Um, let me see. Do I have the Whatnot app on here? Yes, I do. We're going to try the Whatnot app. I haven't really figured it all out. I don't use it all that much. Um, but we can try see if I can get this. I don't know if it's going to scan. Oh, there it goes. So, Awesomeo, no data, um, good condition, he's 11, near mint is 20, near mint 2015, 25-ish. I don't see any that have sold recently. There, there's one for mint for sixty bucks. I highly doubt that's what's what. Um, and it doesn't have any past sales, so maybe we should use Funko app instead. I haven't had much luck with the using that the whatnot app. I, I try. Um, that has nothing to do with not trying, but okay. So PPG is twenty two on him. <clears throat> which means this guy's got to be worth at least $8. And knowing Clara, she usually goes um, over value. So, and he is at $15. So 22 and 15 is 37. Um, it was a, it was guaranteed 30 or no, you, it was $25 box, $30 shipped. And I think it was only guaranteed 25 or guaranteed 30. I'm not really sure. Guaranteed 25, I think. So we actually got $37 in value. For both of these guys here, both of them are in excellent shape. Uh, Clara, uh, the boxes are awesome. Um, I'm not sure if these are your new boxes or you'd order them just for this, but um, you packaged it awesome. Thank you very much. They both arrived to me minty. Uh, I am going to keep this guy because he's super cute. Um, and this one I will send to my nephew. And that being said, I am at the 14-minute mark. Um, so, uh, just so you guys know, next Tuesday night on, um, CTV, yes, we are continuing and we hope that you guys will show up. Uh, we will have Mr. JLH himself. Um, if you haven't checked out their channel, uh, they do have an awesome thing going on for March right now, which is, is the 17 days of pets, pops, and prizes, or in some, those last three P's are in some shape or form. I always get it screwed up. Uh, but he is so entertaining and so is his wife, Allie. Um, we've been having such a good time with them. I was on their, their Jeopardy and, um, just people that I clicked with right away. So, um, please go check them out. If you've participated in any of their contests recently, either the Christmas one or the 14 days of Funko love, uh, you are eligible to participate. Uh, in the current one, uh, even if you're not eligible, it is super entertaining to watch them. They're doing this whole, 
uh, bracket system for Funko Pops. And they're also featuring pets. And one of the pets that they're going to be featuring is my baby girl, uh, Miss Fenway. So uh, go check them out. And next Tuesday, 7.30 p.m., uh, we're going to have some fun. And I know some of, of JLH's old jobs, and so we're going to be doing a little quiz with him, uh, see how he does. So have a good Thursday night, everybody. I'll talk to you soon.